Welcome back to another one of our firewall chats. Today I'm joined by Matt from Spider Oak and the Digital Privacy Alliance. Hello. So to start, Matt, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the Digital Privacy Alliance and the work that you do there? Well, the Digital Privacy Alliance is a not-for-profit uh, dedicated to helping build uh, consumer privacy rights online in the United States. Well, one of the topics I know that's really important to the DPA is geolocation privacy. So uh, could you give us a, a little bit of an overview of what that means and why it's important? So geolocation is quite literally the exact coordinates of where you are on this planet. Uh, and this is tracked a lot. Uh, tweets, Facebook posts, uh, ads online, uh, basically anywhere you go, uh, your location will be tracked. And a lot of this can be done for good. Uh, for example, map software is an obvious uh, case for this. Uh, this is very useful and very handy. Uh, also, advertising. Uh, if advertisers have a general idea of where you are, you're not going to be seeing ads for places five states away. Uh, there's a lot of good that can come out of geolocation. Uh, we can take a look at augmented reality games, Pokemon Go. It relies on your location, and it's a great thing. Uh, but there's uh, but there's been a lot of dark sides to this. Uh, there's at the Digital Privacy Alliance. We recently did a bunch of work uh, understanding children's games that, without asking for your consent, just start blasting the precise geolocation. And precise is a technical term, essentially meaning uh, like within 30 meters or even less. Typically, mm -hmm. precise gets within a few feet. Uh, that's if. For example, if you're looking at a map on your phone, the uh, error circle around your location, when it gets really small, that's your precise geolocation. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot, and there's so many games for young children out there that you start the game, and before you even get to the main menu or see anything else, they start blasting out the precise geolocation of the user, ostensibly a small child, uh, out to advertisers right away and then how can that how does that even happen how do how do these apps have permission to do this uh, well there's a variety of ways around this uh, most apps uh, in both Android and iOS need to have specific permissions to access the easy way to get to precise geolocation through the GPS system mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, That'll pop up a permissions dialog on iOS, which I think is a great idea. And on Android, it's a uh, permissions that's listed prior to installation. However, uh, there's a lot of very accurate ways to get that data without it. Uh, for example, in an area that's been well mapped out for wireless networks, uh, between cell phone triangulation and uh, wireless network triangulation, you can get almost as good in most urban areas without even needing the on-device GPS data to be fed into the app. And we're, we're still talking like uh, telling where your kid is if they're on a baseball diamond, if that first base or third base, or if they're waiting to be picked up uh, after school, where they are after school in the parking lot. And this is all without having to trigger a uh, permissions dialogue from the operating system. Wow, that's, uh, that's terrifying. Uh, so what's being done? Are there any regulations or what's being done to try and rein this in? Uh, currently, it's been a game of cat and mouse between uh, the OS manufacturers and companies uh, trying to get this data. And the thing is, normal people mean you have no recourse at this time. Uh, this data of everywhere we are, and that's your location defines who you are. Uh, for example, I know uh, if I was an advertiser, I know where you sleep every night. I know where you go home. I can do reverse lookup and get your address. And with your address, I know where you, who you are. I can de-anonymize you even if you never share your name or address with me. I can get that. Uh, so there, and there's no way to combat this. There's no way to uh, get your information offline or prevent it from being collected. 
the Digital Privacy Alliance is in the Illinois State House right now pushing a bill, HB 3449, the Geolocation Privacy Protection Act, uh, sponsored by Representative Ann Williams, who's a real true believer in uh, normal people's privacy rights. Mm -hmm. And all this does is the first time an app starts, and if it's going to collect your precise geolocation, regardless of method of collection, it has to ask for your permission, and it has to tell you what it's doing. Uh, iOS provides a great means to do this baked into the operating system. Uh, if you just if you toggle the GPS, uh, then you can you have to provide a text as to what you're doing with it anyway, so you can drop it in there, and you can kill two birds with one stone if you're an app developer. Uh, if you're not using GPS location, or if you're say on Android where it won't pop up and ask, uh, then you do on the first app launch have to ask permission and. Uh, the user has to consent to their data being stored and shared. It's that simple. One dialogue, one question, and on iOS, it can be rolled into an existing system dialogue. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned that this is in the Illinois State House. What effect would this have on people? You know, I'm in Missouri. I definitely would like to have this on my devices. What effect would this have on me? Would it oh. be just for people in Illinois? That depends. Uh, an app manufacturer can choose to use coarse or very not precise geolocation to uh, determine if you're in Illinois and present the dialogue only if you're in Illinois. Mm -hmm. uh, in the United States, uh, the, sta the laws of one state don't apply to the other. And uh, while some companies for ease of compliance may choose to just implement the dialogue and move on with life, we see this for example a lot with California law. Uh, for example, California law is what requires privacy policies. Uh, most companies implement that just to be comply with California. Uh, however, that's not required, and a company may choose to simply steal your data and not let you know if you're in Missouri. Uh, and that's why at the Digital Privacy Alliance, we've also been trying to conduct outreach into other states and help make sure that there's an even uniform privacy environment for normal people like us to fall back on and for companies' ease of implementation. So how can people get involved, specifically people in Illinois, but how can anybody get involved and help with uh, trying to get this passed? Well, in Illinois, uh, that's easy. Uh, write your legislator. Uh, write your state representative. Write your state senator. Uh, write the governor. Tell them you want HB 3449 to pass. Uh, right now is actually rather critical. We're in the middle of the uh, fall veto session as of November 7th. And uh, the bill was originally vetoed by the governor. However, we can still get it passed. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're in other states, you can write on the topic to your state representative. Uh, we've definitely heard interest from plenty of other states for legislation like this from legislators there. And showing your support as citizens, it doesn't take very much to make sure your representatives actually listen. All it takes is a phone call or a letter or even a form filled out online. And that's actually really effective and something you can do today. All right. Matt, thanks so much. This is, uh, I think this is an issue a lot of people don't even realize is a problem. And, no, uh, it, <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, typically. Yeah, and it, it really affects all of us, whether we have kids or not. Our yeah, uh, location data, that's, that's important stuff, and we don't want that thrown around. Or... all day about the <laughs> Well, we'll come back to this in another uh, in another chat. But uh, for those of you in Illinois, please get involved in this in this process, and let's see if we can get this bill passed. Hopefully, the good things that happen in Illinois will help me in Missouri and uh, help people around the world. Definitely. All right. Well, that's it for our uh, firewall chat today. Thanks again, Matt. Thank you.